guys. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. My phone literally just stopped. Literally just stopped. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I don't think it's this uh, Knight of Swords here. It feels like very different energy. So I feel more like you guys are going to come into someone new after leaving somebody or after someone left and took their offer with them. Fuckers. I don't know what's wrong with people. Um, so where was I? Ah, yes. So this new opportunity. <laughs> you guys have to choose. <laughs> you guys have to want it, okay? All these twos, man. Two, two, twos. Uh, you guys start seeing that, like, two, two, two everywhere. Uh, the number two, uh, in you know, for spirit related, actually means, like, um, spirits are working behind the scenes to make shit happen for you. And probably to get this new beginning for you, I'm just saying. Um, we also have the strength card here. Some of you have Leo in your chart. You're dealing with a Leo. There's strength in this bond. There's strength in making this choice. And you have the Ten of Pentacles abundance because he wants to give you prosperity right he wants to give that to you so i take it i mean take it why not leave you know leave your pain behind i know it's hard but you got to go within a little bit you got to take on this virgo energy you got to take on this virgo energy to manifest your own abundance to move forward to move forward so you can be the the king and the queen so you guys can be the king and queen together. Do it. Do it. Get your new beginning. Especially with this Hierophant. I mean, you never know. Some of you might be marriage. I'm just saying. Down the line. Down the line. Not, no, like, known you for a week marriage. But, like, <laughs> although I don't know your business. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. So that's pretty good, Tauruses. I like that energy. Let's give you some uh, love messages, yeah? From the romance romance angels deck it's one of my favorite oracle decks i'll show you guys in a second let me get all these to the side i want my tables there. okay my romance angel deck it's a really awesome deck guys um, if you for any of you guys that like to do tarot i definitely recommend getting it so any messages for love any advice for my tauruses for love or messages of love for my Tauruses from September 17th to the 24th. Hey, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Sorry guys, that was my cat. <laughs> Trying to make a wreck of my screen. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to get interrupted. Clyde, ugh, I love him, I do. He's the best cat, he's a Siamese. Tauruses in love, any messages or advice for my Tauruses in love? Now he's coming around for love, as I say love. Mm-hmm. Any messages from my Taurus in love? Taurus is in love for September 17th to the 24th. Taurus is in love from September 17th to the 24th. Any advice? Any advice? Remember guys, I'm a, I like to let them fly, so September 17th to the 24th for my Tauruses in love. Any advice? Any messages for my Tauruses in love? September 17th to the 24th. Oh. Alright, we, we got a shower. Got a peeker. Ooh, and it's a good one, guys. All right, so this makes sense for this week for you guys. The overall energy, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So if this breakup hasn't happened yet with this King of Swords, leave, just leave. I mean, don't, you know, you don't gotta listen to everything I say, but I'm just saying, it looked like you had a King of Cups matching your Queen of Cups energy waiting for you. I know your Taurus is, but you know, love is love, right? separation i feel like like i said some of you i think have already had this ending with the king of swords but i think some of you guys are still dealing with them because you know what else mm. passion i love this card passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy ah look at that card mm. 
makes me feel good. <laughs> Alright guys, well that was your love reading for September 17th to the 24th. Careful, some of you guys really do have a narcissist on your hands. And I'm telling you from personal experience, you do not. You do not want to go on that, ro that road long term with a narcissist. I mean, it'll just... It, it'll, it'll just it'll tear your soul apart. Just don't do it. Don't do it, Tauruses. Like I said, King of Cups. It could be with someone from your past. I I do feel like it's separate from that King from that uh, King of Swords energy, but it's King and King energy. You never know. You never know. So just be aware, and you know, don't stay in toxic relationships. Just don't. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's so not worth it, especially when there's this possibility of a new beginning. And it is, you have the full card. It's a new beginning. I really feel like it's someone new. So I hope that resonates with you guys. It might not resonate with everybody. Again, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like or comment. I'll take commentary as long as it's constructive. Constructive commentary, guys. All right. Have a good week. Bye.